Hello everyone. I've got to get better about my uploads. I'm going to try to get back to um, daily. But this is a food review that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. But I am just now getting around to it. So here we go. I'm going to be reviewing, as you can see in the title, a vegan pizza called the Alpha Pizza. And it's a frozen pizza that you can um, warm up at home as like a snack. They're pretty small. Um, or, well, I mean, yeah, like the pizza with like a salad that could be a meal. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So at my store, and this was another um, item I found on Ibotta and I wanted to try it because there was a pretty decent sized um, cash back offer and I do believe it's still on Ibotta actually and the cash back um amount was a dollar fifty. The pizza was about four ninety nine, let's say. Um so the whole um story on this pizza is it is vegan. Um so no dairy products, no meat products. That means you're gonna have vegan cheese on it. And, um, the, so the one I had was chicken flavored, which is odd. So the chicken wasn't real chicken. That's what I was getting at. Um, it's a meat substitute chicken. Um, I actually don't even like chicken pizza or I don't hate it. I can tolerate it, but maybe like one slice. It's, it's not my, I don't know. Chicken flavor does not uh, lend itself to the ingredients in pizza, although chicken pasta doesn't bother me and it's the same kind of ingredients, bread, cheese, red sauce. But I, yeah, I don't get it. Um, that's one of my things though. Anyway, um, the two choices at my store, at least, I believe they make a, a Supreme flavor, but they didn't have that at my store. Um, so I had to choose between just a plain cheese pizza and buffalo chicken flavor so I chose the buffalo chicken just in case the cheese was gross I um have never had a vegan pizza before so this was a first and I thought well at least you know I've had a ton of different types of meat substitute chicken and um the food industry has gotten pretty good at, at mimicking chicken flavor <laughs> So I decided, and also buffalo sauce has kind of a strong taste. So I thought, you know, if the, the vegan cheese and like the crust and the bread and all that stuff is, is horrible, at least the fake chicken and the, um, tomato sauce and, or the buffalo sauce would cover it up. So I went for that flavor and it actually wasn't a mistake. So, um, these aren't bad. Now, the only, they would be good, actually, except, and this might just be a me thing, but the texture of the cheese is off. Like, it's way too smooth and slippery, the cheese. But the flavor is good. It actually tastes like cheese, tastes like melted mozzarella, for the most part. Um, the imitation chicken, uh, there's got to be a better way to say that, but um, the plant-based chicken actually um wasn't bad either the buffalo seasoning is there um it was just the texture of the cheese that kept throwing me off to the extent that I had to not think about it while I was eating it but I could still eat the pizza and had no problem and it was good I probably would not um get another one just because I'm a texture person with food um even though I like some Asian foods that have kind of like that slippery texture. I don't like, um, like fat. I don't like fatty meats for that reason. And this cheese just like really messed with my head. Um, but it was good enough that I could eat it without being grossed out entirely or at all. Really. It was just felt weird in my mouth. Um, you probably will not have that problem because I'm really, picky and weird about food. Um, but it is definitely worth noting. 
all in all, I would recommend trying the buffalo chicken. I almost tried, went back and tried the cheese, but then I thought about like the texture and I just didn't. Um, but maybe I will one day. Um, but yeah, so this is a good option if you're looking to try like a vegan pizza, something you can make at home. Um, and it, it's not terrible. Well, yeah, it's not terribly pricey compared to other organic types of um, frozen meals and things you can get in the store. The vegan pizzas can actually be really pricey. So I was going to say this one is kind of reasonably priced and a good way to try vegan pizza, vegan cheese on a pizza. Um, so that pretty much does it for this review. Um, if you've got something else you would like me to review, feel free to drop it in the comments. Hope you are enjoying these review videos. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, please help me get my watch time up. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I still have some reviews I need to post, um, and I'm going to get on those as well as like some foods I'm, I'm trying all the time um and supplements I really need to do some videos on the supplements that I've been using lately I will do all of that um but until the next video take care be well and I will see you again soon bye now